In this tutorial, I continue with the plan that we had and we move forward to this level. So if you would like to do the same thing uh, with Archicad, hit the like button on this video and let's learn, practice and share. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue with the plan that uh, I just drew in the last video. And I noticed two other walls that uh, I didn't draw in this plan. So the first one is this one that has a sliding door. So uh, with an Alt key, I'm going to select an interior wall. And then from here to here, I'm going to draw this wall. The other one is uh, this one, which uh, I believe actually uh, it is a column. Since uh, we don't draw any columns on the plan, I'm going to uh, draw this one as uh, the wall. So from here to here is 47. So I'm going to put the thickness to 47. And then I can draw this column with the wall tool. Uh, maybe later I'm going to you know, draw some uh, columns for this plan, but uh, for now I'm going to continue with the wall. The other thing that I would like to um, do before continuing is uh, on the ground floor I import the uh, DWG file and just because I imported it as extra friends, uh, I can't move it. As I mentioned before, I believe uh, this plan has um, a different level for the entrance, which I believe it's uh, on the ground floor. So I'm going to move all the uh, drawings that I have so far to um, the first floor. To do this, I'm going to select the marquee tool. I'm going to draw the area that I want to select or move. Then here we have only uh, the walls. So I'm going to select the wall tool and then Control A on the keyboard. And uh, all the walls uh, has been selected for me. By Control X, I'm going to cut all the walls and uh, I, I will go to the first floor and then Control V as paste. Then I'm going to uh, right click and said OK. So this is the plan that we draw in the last video. And uh, here we have uh, the X reference file on the uh, ground floor. So on the first floor, we cannot see the uh, reference plan. By clicking on the trace, we're going to see the lower floor. And of course, uh, we can set a different uh, floor as uh, the reference. And if you want to know more about the trace, just click on the card right up here. To start, I would like to draw the entrances, but unfortunately, I cannot see the dimension from the reference file. Here on the uh, trace, I have an option, trace and references. Here I can set an opacity for the reference and here I can set an opacity for the active. If I lower down the opacity of the activated plan, I can see clearly the reference lines that we had on uh, another level. I'm going to close this one. Then I'm going to select the door tool. On the setting dialog, I'm going to choose a proper entrance door. I would like to uh, select the double door symmetry and I want to set a different dimension for uh, each door leaf. So I would go to the shape and uh, the leaves are asymmetric and I'm going to set a different amount for uh, this part. I would like to uh, the door has the dimension of uh, 1 meter and 20. So uh, we're going to have uh, the main door at 72 and the other door 42. I would like to have uh, 90 for the main door. Then I'm going to hit OK. Then I draw the door. Uh, here is the exterior. As we see, there's a small sun right here. So this will be the exterior. I click once and then uh, the second click is for how uh, do I want this door to be opened. Unfortunately, uh, the door is smaller than I thought. So I should do this. Now the door is 90 and maybe I can uh, stretch a little bit like this. 
And then now I have uh, 110. So I should change the dimension to 85. I'm gonna um, take a look at it in 3D view. Here is uh, the door that we just draw. Um, we have some um, distance from the project zero, so I'm gonna remove uh, this height. Then I would like to select a style for the leaf. So I will go to dialog box again, then uh, I will come to at the door leaf and I would like to select something like, I don't know, maybe this one or even this one, I don't know. So the tree level, I would set it on the full, also on the 2D level, one to 50. So we will see all the uh, dimension and all the parts of the door. Then I can hit okay. And this is the door that we just draw. I go back to uh, the plan view. With the Alt key, I'm going to select the same door and I uh, draw the same door for uh, the other units that we have here. Also, I uh, select it and move it back to here. OK, I'm going to continue on this unit. Uh, when we enter in this uh, unit, the first door that we have is uh, this one, which I believe uh, is just an opening to uh, this corridor here. And then we have uh, three other doors. So I'm going to select an opening for uh, this part. Again, I'm going to select the door tool. Then here on the dialog box, I'm going to select the uh, empty door openings. And I would like to have just a rectangular door for uh, this opening. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to click here and here. I also would like to stretch it to uh, these walls here. OK, now it feels better. Then we have three other doors, one for the bathroom and uh, two other for the bedrooms. I'm going to select the door tool again, and uh, I'm going to select a hinge door, which in this case, I'm going to select the simple one. And uh, since it's the bedrooms and we need privacy, uh, I'm going to select a simple door for uh, the bedrooms. So maybe this one, the first style. Also, I would like to set these details to these. And then I hit OK. Then here we have this door like that. We have this door like this. And then this door like that. OK. Then when we enter in this bedroom, we also have two other doors for the walk-in closet and uh, the bathroom. I should reduce the size for these two doors. I think this is fine, so maybe only this one. I think 80 is enough. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, then I will move to the other unit. Here we have the opening again. So with the Alt key, I'm gonna select this door and I'm gonna apply it here. Then we have three other doors. I'm going to select this one. Maybe it's better to mirror this door so it open on this wall. I'm going to select this uh, door, then Control M on the keyboard. And on the middle part, I'm going to click and it will uh, mirror like that. Then we have uh, a sliding door here. I'm going to select the door tool again, selecting a sliding door um, for this um, specific one. Then here we have exterior uh, sliding door and pocket door. So um, here I'm going to select the details so we see everything. Then I'm going to hit OK. The exterior is here and the door opens on this way maybe doesn't make difference. I'm going to stretch it to the proper amount. Maybe 80 is fine. Okay. 
Now we have this uh, pocket sliding door. Then I would like to draw the windows. But before, let's take a look in 3D view. Okay, this is the opening door that we draw for uh, this corridor. Then we have uh, three doors here for the walk-in closet, for the bathroom. And this is the sliding door that uh, we just draw. Also, maybe it's better to change the leaf to the same style as the others. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna continue with uh, windows. Here it seems that we have a balcony. So I'm gonna select a sliding door instead of the window. Let's take a look in 3D. Uh, I would like to add some division like uh, what we have here. Then I will uh, select the battery grid type for the leaves. I'm gonna hit OK. And then I'm gonna I will draw it. I'm gonna select the same thing for this one. I also would like to have the same thing for here. So I'm gonna select this door and with Control Shift D, I can drag a copy like this. Then for here, I would like to do the same. I'm going to select this door. Uh, in this case, I cannot drag a copy because this wall, this wall is different from this wall. So I should select uh, the window and then this is the exterior. Uh, then here we don't have the balcony, so I'm going to use uh, the same window. There you go. I'm going to take a look in the 3D view. Here it seems fine, but here I should draw this one uh, as a window. So I'm going to delete this select the window tool and try to find some things that's similar with the doors. Well, uh, I draw this uh, window, then I would like to match the height with uh, this door. So I'm going to select the top point and then I'm going to stretch it to the top of uh, this uh, door. And then for the bottom, I would like to match it with uh, this one. Okay, I try to uh, use the same window for the other part. So I'm going to select this window going back to uh, the plan view so I would see where do we have uh, windows.
Well, uh, I draw all the windows that we had on the uh, plant floor. Then I would like to draw this lab to make uh, this floor a little bit more complete. I'm going to the plan view. Then I'm going to start from this corner. Well, uh, this is it for this uh, tutorial. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, what we draw on the on the 3D view. If you uh, would like to know more, uh, how did I control these uh, types of doors, windows, or even this lab? It's better to check on the cards because uh, I explained uh, each element in a different tutorial. So you better take a look at them. And don't forget to hit the like button for those videos. Also, we finished uh, for this tutorial. If you like it and if it was informative for you, don't forget to hit the like button. If this is the first time you are watching my uh, tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you have any questions, please uh, write down on the comments. I'm going to read them all and I'm going to answer immediately. See you soon on the next tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.